I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Are we living in the last days? That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, if you love us passing the faith to the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to our channel, ring the bell for notifications, and donate. Your tax-deductible gift right there. Hit that button and give. Your tax deductible gift keeps higher things. A youth organization all about the gospel keeps us a rolling. And we need your giving, especially in these dark times. There's locusts. There's a plague. Are we living on the end at the end? Well, in so far as in so far as we should expect Jesus every day to come and save us. Yes, we are living in the last days. Before this virus, we were living in the last days. Any time you think about today, you should think that this could be the last day. Not just that you could die. Whoever holds this treat holds the power of Thor. but also that he could return. He said he was coming. He said he would be coming soon. It's soon. It's past soon. It's time. Does this particular plague, which has turned our lives upside down, mean that we're in the end times? Not necessarily. These things happen because of sin. Not anyone's particular sin, but sin, original sin, and also, um, our actual sin. And these things repent us. They cause us, they're God's way of hitting our elbow in order to get us our attention and so we would fix our eyes only on him. Hey buddy, get in your bed. In your bed. Good boy. Stay. He is up to no good over there. He's a dog that's been cooped up way too long. Too many videos. So insofar as these things are caused by sin, these things repent us. And, they, and as I showed in a video earlier, and I hope that Sandra places it right there, um, God isn't punishing us only. He, he disciplines us in order to save us, in order to call us out of our sins, in order to rescue us from what we focus on in order to fix our eyes on him. And in so doing, it hurts, it's scary, and it's, but that's not the only thing he's doing. He's doing what he's doing in order to save us, to bring us out of our sins, to point us to the cross so that our Lent and our fast would only be about him. So what I want you to do is not so much think that he's, he's coming because there's a plague. I want you to think he's coming because he says he's coming. I don't want you to think that these are last days because there's a virus. I want you to know that they're the last days because he says He's coming soon in a time and an hour that he's not, you shouldn't expect. I don't want you to fear that because of this virus, God is punishing you. I want you to thank him for disciplining us and drawing you back to himself and fixing your eyes on him so that you would know beyond a shadow of a doubt that he loves you and cares for you in the suffering and death of Jesus. It's really hard to do about behind the back throw. Oh, he should have caught that. I want you to trust him to carry you through this time. I want you to believe that even if you got this plague, he would save you one way or another. And I don't want you to be afraid, not of sin, not of death, and not of the power of devil. I want you to fix your eyes on Jesus for his love drives out your fear. Are we in the last days? Yes, but not because of a particular thing, but because Jesus said so. The hour, and anybody who tells you that they know what's going on, 
Ooh, bad throw. Anybody who tells you they know what's going on, they don't. Because the only person who knows the last day is the Father. Jesus trusts him. You should trust him too. That it's going to work out for good. He's going to save us. Because he didn't go through Calvary and Easter to lose us to a virus. He went through Calvary and Easter to save us. All of those behind the back throws. I don't want flack over it. <laughs> it's really hard to do a behind the back throw. One more time. Jesus will save us. He said so. He linted. He holy weeked. He good Fridayed, and he Eastered. We will be saved. And any fear of the last day is taken away by the last day that occurred for him, his last day, Good Friday, where he died for us. And as surely he rose from the dead, he will come soon. And he will take us from this veil of tears in order to be with him. Oh, forever. I'm Pastor George Borkart. Last treat for Thor. Let's see if we can get it. Last one. Are you watching it? Are you watching it? And this has been another Higher Things video short. <laughs>